don't wait until that car is gone. And that one comes. explore one of Portugal's most haunted houses like officially oh you can see it from here uh, no you can't yes you can it's here behind that fence the house itself looks really really nice really really beautiful and now we're gonna take a look we have to do it during daytime because Alex is too afraid to do it during nighttime <laughs> here we're almost there now um, yeah the, the road here is very very busy so we're gonna just climb in now others did that as well I don't think they climb I think you can just walk up on the property yeah that's kind of what I meant So now we're in the house, as far as we can see it's not much left, you see behind me the walls here and yeah just gonna walk through, here we have very unstable ground Ta -da. and oh, maybe I show you the road. It's really, really busy. It feels a little bit wiggy to, to go in here, but yeah, we did it anyway. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I continue walking through the house now. Um, it's called Casa Amarela, Amarela, or the Yellow House. And what makes this house so special, I will tell you now. Now let's come to the story. <laughs> the story goes that there was a man living with his daughter. He built that house for his daughter, with his daughter, some, something like that. Are you sure? Yes, what I was reading today. <laughs> okay, I was reading another story, but yeah. Okay, anyway, um, his daughter was dating and the father didn't like that. So there are several stories now. One goes, I tell you what I was reading. <laughs> I was reading that he was um, killing them. What exactly he did um, was not part of that story. But he locked them away, he killed them and the ghosts are haunting the house. That's one story. Another story I was reading goes that he bought the house and somehow he had debts or whatever. The bank wanted the house and he went back home and killed himself. 
uh, to protect the house so nobody can come in. And now you, <laughs> the stories you was reading. Uh, pretty much I was reading that he was overprotecting and the daughter was dating and uh, he locked her and her lover down in the basement which kind of scared the shit out of us that's why we <laughs> not going in again no uh, or another story is just behind here like you can't see it but just behind this tree here it's an old water whale i think you know like this that you collect water from and the story says that he threw them down there as well and then he hanged himself in the house so we don't really know which story is which or anything but evidence is like we're gonna show you guys the whale Yeah, believe what story you want to. I don't know what to believe, but it's fact that this house doesn't feel that good. The energy in there is not that nice. <laughs> so, we don't really know what to do, or uh, we're not up for going further into to the story or into the house or anything. It's really wiggy, it's really under your skin. And it's no, not really nice at all, but if you pass by Portugal and feel like you're a daredevil, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Another thing that should have happened here is that when they tried to um, tear the building down, the machine stopped working. And all the people who tried to buy this place left it in a hurry, and even people who was just occupying the house like uh, gypsies Roma you know um, even they left the house uh, pretty quickly so nobody <laughs> wants to stay in that house I guess that has a reason and that's why we're not gonna go in again <laughs> yeah but like we said if you want um, try your luck here <laughs> I hope you liked the video anyway, even though we didn't explore the whole house. So don't forget thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe and then we see you next time. Yeah, bye! bye. <laughs>